Hi guys, in this video we are solving homogeneous system. Homogeneous system because here you can see the result of this equation R0 because you can write it like this A, this the A is mean the coefficient, this coefficient here, and X here it's look like X, Y, Z. This answer equal to zero. I will write it in bold because it's zero vector. Zero here, I mean that zero vector. It's look like this or this one, the same as I write it like this. But in the convenient way, we write it like this. So now we are solving this system. So here we have the answer for this one. A, then zero, A, it's mean the coefficient here. And this called augmented matrix. Then I will write it like this. Then we have 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2, and the answer of course here is 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0. Then we have 0, 2, 3, 0. The last one we have 0, 3, 4, 0. And I have to put this line. zero then I will write it in purple one so here what we have to do so you have to remember this one it has to be one because leading one so we have to change this row with this row so row one change it with row two okay then I will write it like this one 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 zero I exchange it with the second row uh, then zero one this one this row zero one two zero then zero two three zero then zero three four zero of course this one zero okay then after that we have to do here here this is the leading one then we have to go down then go right until you find one this is the leading one then we have to put this the rest of this column equal to zero so what we have to do so here we have to change it to so we have to subtract this row with this row to, to get here 0 because 1 minus 1 equals 0. So row 1 minus row 2 in row 1. Then here we have to subtract 2 minus 2 multiplied by this row. So row 3 minus 2 row 2 in R3. Then the last one, row 4 minus 3 row 2 in row 4. I want to go down a little bit here to write the solution. So here we have like this. So we have 1, 1, row 1 minus row 2, so 1 minus 0, 1, 1 minus 1, 0, 1 minus 2 minus 1, 0, of course, minus 0, 0. This one it always becomes 0, this column. The second one, we haven't done anything, so 0, 1, 2, 0, then here 0 minus 0, 0, I multiply it by 2 of course, here 2 minus, it will be this 2, so it will be 0, 3 minus 4, it will be, so it will be minus 1, 0 minus 0, 0, or 0 minus 2 multiplied by 0, 0. Then 
for the third row 0 minus 3 multiplied by 0 which will be 0 3 minus 3 give us 0 4 minus 6 it will be minus 2 then 0 minus 0 0 so now we have here we have 1 leading 1 leading 1 then we have to make of course this one leading 1 to change this one leading 1 so we have to first to multiply by minus 1 so let's multiply by minus 1 first so minus 1 multiply by row 3 in row 3 which give us like this so 0 minus 1 0 0 1 2 0 0 0 1 0 I change it to because I multiply this the third row by minus 1 0 0 minus 2 0 then here what we have to do so row 1 plus row 3 so because minus 1 plus 1 give us 0 so row 1 plus row 3 and row 1 and row 2 this because we have to change it minus 2 row 3 in row 2 the third one row 4 plus 2 row 3 in row 4 okay so let's do it 1 plus 0 1 0 plus 0 0 minus 1 plus 1 0 0 plus 0 of course 0 here for the this line 0 minus of course 0 it will be 0 1 minus this one it will be 0 2 minus 2 multiplied by 1 which 2 so 2 minus 2 0 1 minus 0 1 2 minus 2 give us 0, 0 minus 0, 0, then the same, 0, 0, 1, 0, because we, I haven't changed anything in this one. The fourth one, 0 plus 0, 0, 0 plus 0, 0, minus 2 plus 2 multiplied by 1, which is 2, so it give us 0 then the last one it will be zero as well so we are at the end so here we have leading one leading one leading one so x y z so remember here we have in the system x y z so here I have to write it x y z because this answer for our system so we have here x equal 0 y equal 0 z equal 0 some people they ask me why it's this one it's look like this remember this it's like a system so here we have like if you think about it it's like this so 1 multiplied by x plus 0 multiplied by y plus 0 multiplied by z equals 0 and here the same thing 0 plus 
multiply by x, then 1 multiply by y, then 0 multiply by z equals 0, and so on. So you have here x equals 0, y equals 0, and the same thing here. I will write it since I write everything. So 1, z equals 0. So you have here x equals 0, y equals 0, z equals 0. And the last row, it's look like this. So it's nothing. So we have to satisfy the whole system, which is x equals 0, y equals 0, z equals 0. And this one, we can write it in another way. We can write it like in bold color, x as before, which is equal to x, y, z, which is 0, 0, 0. And you can write it like this, only 0. So the answer here, the system has a trivial, as I told you before, the homogeneous system has two possible solutions, a unique solution or infinitely many solutions. So here we have trivial, because here x equal to 0. If it's not equal to zero, then we have infinitely many solution. That one it called non-trivial solution. So here a trivial solution, which is x equal zero. That's it. So remember, before I end this video, here you have a homogeneous system. This homogeneous system. If all of these equal to zero, so it's mean homogeneous system, then it has two possible solutions, a unique solution or infinitely many solutions. So that's it. See you in the next video.